Oh, hello there. Welcome back to King Carp Anglers, guys, where today we are at Mousehill Fishery in Kent. Right, a little bit about this lake. It, we are on the Kingfisher today, which is about three acres in size. It's got a load of species, but they're unspecified, mainly carp load. Got a quite good head of carp. They got to 38 pounds in here, apparently. We'll soon find that out, hopefully. Um, today is just me and my cameraman, and I would comment on when Ben is, but I think he was just too late to get out of bed. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, let's see what today brings, and yeah, I'll keep you updated. By the way, guys, there's also a calf and a tackle shop in sight as well, and there's a very nice woman that drives around in a little dune buggy off a new bet for us. So you're gonna come here. Make sure you get it. Big up. So guys, just a little update. Um, we have missed a couple of bites. You know, some liners, some bites. It's all been going a little bit slow, but we are in January. All right. So as I said before, we're using a concoction of baits today, like stuff that we had at home, stuff that we just got out and bought, some uh, the carp basics that's it <laughs> forgot about that but yeah um just a little update it is going a little bit slow but we are still out here we are been doing lives we've been answering comments we've been doing a lot of stuff to be fair guys also so i just spoke with the team and this video should be out by the 26th which means on the 27th we are actually going to the essex carp show all right if any of you want to come and say hi to us, we are there on Saturday, all right? Just drop us a message on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, anything, just saying where you are, and we'll see if we can have a little meet-up, all right? But, yeah, so far, we haven't really had much. But, but, we're using all different kinds of methods today. Obviously, carp basics, big up for this load. I do pop-ups. At least caught me in the last one, didn't it? Yeah, this caught me in the last one, so I like these. To be fair, I've modified them to a point where they can't be modified anymore. <laughs> There's so much goo in them, I, they can't be classed as pop-ups anymore, surely. Um, Northern Specials. You know what? I've never caught off these, but I love the smell of them, so I'll just keep them with me. Let's <laughs> just see if I catch them. Um, and then over here, in the, in the other swim. Ugh. We've got the cameraman's concoction. He loves his concoction, this cameraman. I swear to God. But it does smell nice. It does smell banging. I mean, get a look in that. So we got some 12 mil strawberry and cream from Nash. we got the CC Moore sort of caramel all season mix. We've got some munch baits chopped up. Lovely jubbly, and it's all it's all tipped off with it's over there. Call the goo, bumbleberry. That was it. Cheers, cameraman. Um, right. So, and also, guys, we are running out of places to sort of say, right, yeah, sweet, let's go there. All right. So we really, really do need your help. All right. I asked in the last video. I'll ask in this video. Give us suggestions of lakes where to go. Ones that you want reviews on. Ones where you want to see us catch. Where, the ones where you'll think it'll just be a good video. All right? Tell us where you want us to go. As, as I've said before, we are community based. All right? So you ask us to go. We'll see if we can go and do it. We've had a couple of people say about Stones, uh, the Stones Fishery Predator Lake. We have got our, our, app, our eye on it. But it won't be just yet. Okay? No. Not just yet, but obviously we plan on going to Credence Fisheries at some point this year. If no one knows it, look it up. It looks absolutely spectacular. My personal, my personal preference, I cannot wait to go there. All right. We are also going to go to... Farlow's Fishery. That's it. 
Sorry, I had to like sort of get come around the station there. Sorry, I just knocked your rod. Right in the water. No, I wouldn't do that. Actually, I probably would, but that's not the point. Anyway, so yes, we've got loads of plans to happen this year, but we just sort of need some fillers, like in between the months. Also, guys, during spawning seasons, okay. We all know during spawning season, it is an absolute nightmare to get out of the bank and actually try and catch. It does happen. I prefer not to do it. So, what would you like to? What would you like us to do instead for the spawning seasons? Bear in mind that will cover two videos, one a month, two videos. So yeah, what would you like? What would you guys like us to go and sit, like go and do and go and sort of figure out? You know, um, if you want to see edit, us doing any netting this year i'm pretty sure we can find someone there find someone who would you know have us along have us along to come net some fish um or would you like to go and see us do a bit of sea fishing you know let us know in the comments but yeah we'll keep you updated so guys um still nothing we've had nibbles we've had liners the camera ain't even had a take we didn't get anything but that is just how it goes sometimes, ladies and gents. So if this video is a little bit short, I ain't gonna apologize because it, it is the way it is, unfortunately. Um, but it is an, um, uh, it's an absolutely fantastic venue to go to. We just found out as well, they even take you to your swim here. Yeah, they get in a little dune buggy. Yeah, a little, a, little, a little tractor thing. Yeah, they chuck you here on the back and they go boom, 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 boom. Do you swim? Yeah? We didn't get that privilege today. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are currently in the session, uh, in the middle of planning our next adventure. And it's going to be on Darren Valley at Steve Lake. We are going with a special guest who is going to teach us how to pike fish. Um, we all have mixed signals about this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Emmerman says, if it takes my rod, I, I will reel it in, but refuse to unhook it. <laughs> you can do that. All right, sweet, no worries. Me, I'm just like, I'll do everything, but I ain't putting my finger in his mouth. <laughs> that ain't happening either. So, that is going to be on the 24th of February. We're going to go there. So, that video will be out at the end of February this month. And then this video will probably be out what around 26th but yeah as i said earlier guys we are going to the essex carp show so if you're going to the essex carp show come and see us come and say hello don't be afraid we don't bite much well if the cameraman hasn't been fed then he might bite <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say on that one but yes um this venue that we're at now mouse hole it is one amazing amazing venue we've spoke to people today so over here see where that bivy is over there come around trolling the bivy that has got carp up to 42 pound i believe i could be wrong on that so don't quite take my words quite so seriously but they even have an electric run into your swim so you can charge up your phones charge up your battery packs charge up your bait boats you know big up and that's what the fishing world is all about you know the one main thing I would say about this complex, the comfort levels are so, so high. It's unbelievable. And I would recommend anyone living in Kent or even out from Kent, come here. And do you know how popular this lake is? See the lake behind me? Yeah, that one over there. You're over there. You went that way. Yeah. It is so popular. There's only one weekend left here. Yeah. For this year. It is fully, fully booked. So we was quite lucky to get on this lake today. That being said, it is again been one amazing, amazing trip. We enjoy coming out fishing, even if you do blank, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, get some casting practice into trees, I do. Uh, but apart from that, guys, please leave your likes, leave your comments, leave everything around, you know. If you want to go and ask us some questions, feel free. Uh, we've had some uh, comments the other day um, saying, oh, Jake, where do you get your uh, spot on PVA mix? Mate, look, 
I'm going to direct this to you personally. I can't remember your name, so I get it from Angling Direct. Some other stores do do it as well. Um, I know a store in Southampton does it, uh, a different tackle shop. But yes, Angling Direct. Most Angling Direct do it, all right? It's the five, three for five pound scoops thing, all right? If you ain't if, if you don't know your angling directs, give them a call. They're the most friendliest bunch of people, and they're always gonna they're always gonna ask you questions. So just give them a call, see if it, see if they do it. If they don't do it, they don't. If they do, they do. There are other cheap ways to do it about it, you know. So guys, yes. Yeah, so if you can't get to angling direct, there are other ways to do it. Cameraman yesterday. Now my cameraman's a little bit of an idiot for this. He's seen how much penny mix I've got, and yet he still goes buy that goes out and buys some, you know. So. As you can see here, it's all season PVA bag mix, you know, it's salted caramel flavour, I believe. So, oh, no, sweet, car sweet caramel pro profile. If I was a fish, yeah, I'd be biting on this all day. Like, you know, they get free food. I've got to go out and buy my food. They get free. But yes, I think he paid about six quid for this. You know, again, a little bit more expensive, but it does the job, you know. You don't have to do what we do. There are other ways around this. You can go out and bulk buy uh, coppins and like halibut pellets and stuff like that. And just mix it up, mix it up as and when you please. You know, I think a big bag of coppin pellets is about twenty odd quid these days. Yeah, but that's going to last you a good couple of months. You ain't going to chuck the whole entire bag in now. So you know, just be wise, okay, about what you're going to do. Apart from that, guys, um, I've been teaching my cameraman today how to make a zig. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say on that one. Um, it's, it's gone quite well, to be fair. But again, guys, we just want to point out something that we said in one of our earliest videos. Um, I think it was, might have been the very first video that we actually had. We said, and I quote, you don't need the most expensive gear to go carp fishing. And it is true, you don't. Guys, if you are new starters and if you are just starting up, you don't need the most expensive gear. You don't need the most expensive baits. You don't need anything like that, okay? I just want to make that very, very clear. You can go and buy a cheap rod, 20 quid or so, and it will do the job for little, for, for little passies and whatever you're trying to catch. It doesn't have to be major expensive. The only reason you see set up like these and, you know, <laughs> bivvies... And, you know, bivvies like this and, you know, Nash tackle bags, Nash, Nash boxes, cradles, <laughs> barrows, ba bite alarms, and everything like that. The only reason we do this is because we are carp fanatics, okay? We love fishing, so we put a little bit of money into it. Some more than others, so I'm not going to say anything. Put it this way, Ben's buying me going from tackle shops. I'm, I'm now banned from going into a tackle shop. I'm going to put it like this. That bag there yeah ben went to me one day where are you going i was like oh, i'm going to the tackle shop he was like are you getting anything i was like no <laughs> <laughs> so much quid later i walk out with that bag and a load of a load he said i thought you weren't buying anything i was like i got a little bit carried away <laughs> so it is really really easy to get lost in this sort of stuff but guys i'm gonna say again you don't need to do all that okay you can if you want to, it's up to you. It is an expensive sport, if you want to call it a sport. I like calling it a sport, so it don't make me seem as lazy. But yes, things do cost a bit of money around here, but there are other ways to do it. Just like with bait boats. Probably see it in the background somewhere, there's some guy is driving a bait boat around. So you might, you know, catch it. Um, some, some bait boats are like a thousand pounds. You know, I think Ben got it for 150 quid. You know, it's really not that bad. But guys, that's enough of me waffling. Just have a look at some scenery. We're going to take you on a little walk around the lakes later on. And I just hope and pray that we do catch something before we have to, before we have to go. But for me and the rest of the Ken Carp Angler team here at Mouse Hole Fishery, Kingfisher Lake, big up. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas, a happy new year, and I hope this year brings you your PBs. And I certainly, certainly hope the Master Angler gets his. See you later, guys.
Okay. So guys, thank you for watching another episode of King Carp Anglers. And do you know what people, even though we didn't catch, even though it's cold, even though we was up against it from the very start, it was still a brilliant day out. So an absolutely amazing day out. And do you know one of the main reasons why I love going fishing? Because it gives so much time to yourself so you can dwell on the week that you just had, dwell on things that you can't think about because you're too busy to think about. And that is one of the main reasons why I love fishing because it just, it, you, I mean, look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. But anyway, guys, big up. Be prepared to watch the next episode. Remember, guys, we are at the Essex Carp Show. Please come and say hi. We are more than welcome. We more than welcome you to come and say hi, basically. Big up. See you later. And see you later from the Master Angler.